All right. The most common question I get from potential new gun owners is that where could I get some cheap handguns like you? You know, I want to get into shooting. I want to own my first handgun, but I don't have $700 for a new handgun. And I totally understand that, you know. A lot of us were living in the real world. You know, YouTube is a fun place. You know, you got guys here on YouTube going up to the desert, playing pretend, playing G.I. Joe, you know, they're embroidering their YouTube usernames on their little tactical vests and they spray paint Kimber's green. That's cool and all, but a lot of us, we don't want to spray paint Kimber's green or even our cheap $200, $200 guns green, <laughs> you know. Um, out of all the guns I own, I get the most PMs about this one, my Arms Corps M206. People are always asking me, like, when are you going to review the Arms Corps, you know, and I will, promise. I just, I just have to get up to the desert, and, you know, I want to run a couple cylinders through this while I, you know, shoot up some water jugs. I think it's going to be more fun if I do a shooting test along with the review, so the review for this gun will be worth the wait. I think so anyway. If not, then you are free to say, your review sucks, I won't block you. That's not how I roll. But yeah, $200 gun, cheapest gun in my, you know, collection. I like it. I didn't think anyone else would like it, but hey, you know what? I guess there are people living in the real world after all. Get a lot of questions about this gun. And I got this gun yesterday, posted a video of this gun yesterday, and I'm already getting questions about this gun. You know, people are asking me, like, where do you, where did you get it? You know, I'd never see guns like that for sale in my area. The thing is, a lot of gun stores, they don't even display these guns. So, you know, this video is going to be for, like, potential new gun owners. So if you already have your guns, you know, bear with me. Hopefully you'll still find this video entertaining. You guys probably know all this stuff already, though. But, you know, we were all rookies once, so this is for the rookies out there. But, you know, there's publications like the Shotgun News. Um, let me see where I bookmarked it. See, like, um, if you look at ads here, for example, uh, J&G sales, they're always advertising cheap guns. So here's a gun I bought the other day, Bulgarian Macro right there, 229 I got mine for 200 bucks just because the gun, gun store chain I go to, you know, is liquidating them. Here's a CZ82 for, uh, what the fuck, 209 And here's the thing, like, Shotgun News, they also have articles. And they were, and they just, fuck, where the hell is it? Here it is. See, and they even did a review on the CZ82. I think that's really cool when an older gun gets reviewed. I would have got this one personally if they had this for sale. It looks like it's a, you know, more modern gun than the Makarov. But, you know, there it is right there. They reviewed the CZ82 that they got from J&G. So, here's one source. If you could find a gun store that could hook you up and, you know, order one for you. Um, the Arms Corps gun... Here's another older shotgun news. But see, the Arms Corps gun, for example, I discovered them here. See, here's the M206-189. So uh, you got to find somebody who could, like, hook you up. Hook you up with the deal. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with, you know, a cheaper gun. I mean, see, these don't even have tactical rails on them or anything. This was invented before all that stuff was famous or popular. And the thing is, you know, you don't need the nicest gun in the world to get involved with the YouTube gun community. I mean, man, I had no idea how many people loved these guns. You know, I saw this gun and I was like, you know, one of my friends influenced me to get one, J-Rod 68. You know, and I said, oh, sure, why not? I'll buy it. He says they're good. I'll check it out. I mean, I haven't shot it yet, so I don't want to review a gun without shooting it. But, you know, I just picked this up. But, you know, there's a lot of fans of this gun. And a lot of people are interested in this gun. So it just shows you that you don't need the newest whiz-bang. Stole that line from Guns and Gear. But you don't need the newest whiz-bang stuff, you know, to have fun. In fact, some people might like a gun like this more than a Glock. Or a gun like this more than a Glock. God forbid someone likes a gun like this more than a Glock. 
but that's just the way it is. All different tastes. Um, you know, ammo is pretty cheap. I mean, 13 bucks for 50 38s. Here's a, they even have 38 hollow points. This is not even a plus P and they have hollow points for it. So, you know, it's always cool when there's a target rounds and hollow point rounds for self-defense. You know, so here's a macro of right here. Macro of round, 8 bucks for 50 Very cheap. Cheap gun, cheap ammo. You can't go wrong with that. And this is also in hollow point. So you gotta love that when a gun comes in hollow point or has rounds in hollow points. The way I got these guns though, here's how I acquired the guns I got. See, pull up a stool here. See, uh, I showed you the shotgun news. If you could get a um, dealer to order it for you, that would be cool. But sometimes, like I said, gun stores don't, they don't hold those guns or they don't display those guns so how I found those guns is this is a I don't work for these guys or anything whatever I'm not getting paid can't give you a five percent discount or anything but uh, there's a gun store chain in southern California where I live called Turner's and uh, they have a link called discontinued gun sale so you click on that link let's get in here real fast and uh, let's zoom in here, 75%, uh, let's go 100. See, it shows you all the guns. They're closing out. See the, uh, right here, Arms Corps M206, the gun I bought, the revolver, this gun right here. Um, where the fuck is it? You probably can't even see this anyway. Why am I doing this? See, 249 closed out for 199, and it shows you how many are left one left in southern California so what I did is I went to the gun store asked them if they had it and they were nice enough to order it for me and transfer it from another store uh, where's the Bulgaria let me see if my Makarov is still here century arm there you go here's my Makarov right here it's uh, it was 359 and it, they marked it down to 199 and it looks like there's about six left the gun store I go to, they didn't have any in stock, so what they did, like I said, they went ahead and called one of their other chains up, and they were nice enough to transfer it. And, uh, yeah, that's how it is. Sometimes, like I said, these guns, they aren't even displayed, but if you ask them if they have any in the back, they might, or they might even, you know, if it's a gun store chain that has multiple stores, they might even transfer it. So that's how you find the good deals. So now you know, check out shotgun news, stuff like that, or even ask your gun stores if they have anything like a Makarov, you know, in the back or anything like that, and you'll be good to go. So hopefully this video will help some of you out, and you guys will get some good deals. Alright, everybody, kick some ass, and take it easy. Knuckle bomb.